Hello, hello, it's Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie. I am here with you today with an unbagging. Hope you like it. Because I don't know what's in it. It kind of feels squishy. So let's get right to it and find out what we have. I'm trying to find a good spot to attack it. Snip it right there. Padded bag. Bubble bubble pack bag. It's got an inventory, so it's probably a small one. Something fell out. I'm not sure what. Oh, here's toolkit. Oh, look at that. We've got some of those nice bags I like. So here's the toolkit. I said it's got those, I'll show you the bags I like because these are nice and thick. But unfortunately, there's only two bags. I love these with the white strips on them so you can write on them. Too bad. Too bad there's only two. I can see if maybe there's more, but it does have a three placer. All right, let me look at what it is. That way I can. Okay, this does not tell me because they've got it rolled on the inside. The picture. Okay, this is from the Dispaint store. This is what it looks like. Ooh, do do. 30 by 40. Let me get it. Let me get it in my book. I'll be right back. All right. I paid $8.77 for it. Like I said, 30 by 40. I ordered this October 3rd. It arrived November 3rd. So that's a whole 31 days. It shipped, didn't ship until October 7th. Was this the third or the fifth? Of the third, yeah. So that is 31 days. I was wondering if this one ever get here. It says it's a full round, and I, so I can see from the drills they are round. And it says there's 28 colors in it. So let's get into this and look. Here, I'll just give you a better picture of it. I actually... Um, don't know if it was in my group or somebody else's group, but I noticed that they had put this picture up and said that they wanted to get it. And somebody else said that they had it in their wish list and they were waiting for this video. So there it is. It, I mean, this is just cute. Anything colorful like this, and it, if it's got a lot of pink, I'm bound to order it, even though I'm not into birds, but this was just adorable. So let's look at the canvas first. It did come on a thick roller. And because it's a 30 by 40, I expect something that's 30 by 40 to be in a bag. There's only a few companies that will put a 30 by 40 in a box. And it being in a bag did not damage I mean, there's no indentions or dings in, in the canvas whatsoever. So it being in a bag did not harm it any more than it would have if it was in a bag. I don't know if I want to keep this, how many I have already. I have a few already. So, cause these are almost as big as a pool noodle. So if there's something you need pool noodle for, these would be great for. So actually I think I'm going to keep it. If I throw it that way, that's my keep section. If I throw it that way, that's going out the door. All right. Let's try to unroll this without getting any kind of damage to it. I'm just putting it underneath my table edge. Try and unroll it easier. 
So it's the curled part is still under the edge of the table. That way it doesn't get in my way when I try and pull it off. We're going to be pulling it off from the bottom. It is all in one piece. So got to be extra careful so we don't rip it. But this will just flatten it so that we can get a better look at it. Wow, that's so pretty already. All the pink from the background. So there's going to be a lot, a lot of pink. I'm trying to see. It's got rivers. But I'm telling you, those rivers happen from being uh, rolled on a foam roller because it gets really tight. So far, they're not too bad. Rivers will eventually, if they're too, if it's too bad, they will, that's what is the precursor to bubbles. So there's tiny, tiny bubbles here. I mean, you can, you can actually see that line it goes all the way like that. These are just rivers. That's a little bit of a bubble. And there's some, there's bubbling going on here. I, I'm just lightly running my finger across it to see if it's raised. And if it's raised, uh, you know, that's a bubble. If it's not raised, it's just a river. I should call this a tidal wave instead of bubbles. Going from a river to a tidal wave, a tsunami. Never gotten it bad enough to where it'd be called a tsunami, though. All right, so you can see some of these beautiful colors in here. It doesn't look like it would take very long to do, just because there's not a lot of confetti. There's a lot of groupings of numbers, big groupings. See, this middle section, there's no bubbles or rivers. There, it's perfectly beautiful, shiny, but it's just, it's down in here. Uh, that we've got the, the issue. Yeah. So I'm going to close this back up. Yeah, there's bubbles over here too. And nice and flat now. Let's do the other side. Let's do the top half. So if you've never watched one of my videos or seen how to flatten a canvas, look at that. Look at how flat that is and perfect compared to what it was like over here. And as soon as I get this half flattened, we will look at the drill filled and I'll show you the key. But it's got the circles around the symbols. So to me, it makes it harder to read them when they have circles around them, especially when they're, it's all in black, all the numbering or the symbol making. All right. So we've got more, um, uh, slight bubbling going on up here. But the symbols are very, very easy to read. It's just the obscuring of them by the circle that is my problem. Most of them are in black. There's very few that are in white, like right there where the eye is. Um, the eye of the bird. There are Q's and R's. And then there's some white that looks like a V. Yeah. But, yeah, those are really clear. <clears throat> Let me cover this up and then I'll show you the key. That thing keeps falling. Really starting to wear on me. All right, so here's the key. Very bright and it's nice and large. The symbols are very basic. They're letters and numbers, all capitalized. I mean, that's perfect. So, 
that's what we got from for the canvas and it was really sticky too from when i was checking the bubbles i could tell that it, the stick was nice and sticky so let me set this to the side let's pull out the inventory sheet and the diamonds Get rid of that loud bag. All right, so there's 28 colors, so I could just go over them here on camera. I am gonna pause for a second so that I can prepare my paper. All right, I'm back. I just wrote down all the things for the guidelines for scoring. I haven't scored them yet, but I have how many points there are available for each category. And on this, the, the color that has the most is actually 3865, the whitish color. So I'm guessing because that's going to be in this area for the background. And then the next highest is 605, which is a pink color. And that's the one that goes around here. So let's check these real quick. 211. We got two. 3346. Yep. It does have a quality control seal. It just says okay, but they don't have anything marked off. 3830. And this is the first time I've ordered from this company. 741. They are still using the old style bags with the white strip on it and they're all in black. I mean, this type, I don't mind where it's got the white strip because then you can still see the numbers, but it's when they don't have that white strip on there, like this one. If it's a dark color in there, it's gonna be hard to read. 3821, 3825, one, 799 1 170 1 64 1 956 604 3340 See and this one's in gold and they're start the numbers are starting to Flake off. 209, 2. Uh, another gold one. Um, 472. 3325. 166. 550. Trying to get the smaller ones out of the way first. 210, 3890-3607, 3341-792-603. Here we go. No, nope. 964. There's 603. All that's left is three numbers. 8. 818 has 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's all there. And then 3865 has 25, so there should be five of these large ones because these large ones hold five of the smaller ones. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I love it when they do that. And then we've got the last one, which is 605. There should be 23. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Just exactly enough. So let's go over the scoring. <clears throat> All of the diamonds are here. The canvas condition, I am going to take off that point. I'm not going to give them that one point because of all the bubbles. And that, you know, it's just a matter of how they roll it, I guess, or what adhesive they use. Because I have other companies I've gotten from that roll it and the canvas turned out fine. So I don't know how it causes the bubbles sometimes and how come it doesn't other times. Clarity symbols, those were very clear. Um, inventory complete, yes. All is included, yes. And as far as the um, complete inventory, I count one of those points is um, the fact that they used DMC numbers, and they did, so they get the full three points. Outside packaging is typical, and the contents, the way they were packaged is good. I mean, they put it over a foam roller, and it looked good from the way it was packaged. So this gets a total of 9 out of 10. So that is the store Dis Paint on AliExpress. $8.77, 28 colors, 30 by 40. It took 31 days to get here. That's the downside to um, this. I don't know if they use a different shipping method or if it just got delayed in customs. I don't know. But that's what I gave this score for my first impression is a 9 out of 10. I would probably order again from them. $8.77 is a pretty good um, price for a 30 by 40. So... Um, my question of the day for you guys is what piece of techno technology brings you the most joy? For me, the piece that brings me the most joy is my cell phone. Just because if I'm anywhere and I don't have anything to do, there's always something on there to do. I, most of the time I play a game or I check my messages or emails or I'm able to keep myself occupied while in normal circumstances you know, without a cell phone, you would be pretty darn bored. Especially if you go somewhere by yourself. You'd either have to strike up a conversation with a stranger or sit there and doze off or something. I don't know. But we, I went to the Social Security office yesterday and we were there waiting for an hour. And it took me a whole mm, three minutes up at the counter. <laughs> so, yeah, my cell phone it brings me the most joy. So if you could leave your answer down below, I'd be curious to find out what your, what your, um, what piece of technology brings you the most joy. So on your way down to the comment section to leave your answer, be sure to hit, hit that like button. That'll make me very happy. So until next time, have fun diamond painting and don't forget to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Bye guys. It's really hard to find a way to wave like this, like this, like this. There we go. Bye.